Aw, oh, look at that. Look at that stew. That is a stew right there. Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome to the jungle. This is the jungle. This is my beef stew. Oh my goodness, yes. Still have point three servings left. That is so much better. Okay. Sweet. So I am I am genuinely picking up right back where I left off. Uh, basically no time has passed. I put down my new basket, put a few things in there. Um yeah, we're good. I am still waiting for this charcoal to finish. It takes a really long time for charcoal to finish. So, what am I gonna do in the meantime? I should make some more torches, right? Let's make some more torches. Let's put some firewood into the fire. What good is a fire without firewood? Um, and now that I'm kind of in, in better shape in terms of food, I think I might start working on my little house, actually. I do have a plan for the house. It's gonna be very small, but I, I kind of came up with a cute little design. This is a cute little design for a cute little house. Um, you guys are gonna like it. I am gonna need a lot of materials, so I'm gonna need a lot of bamboo. I'm gonna need a lot of k pok And I'm gonna need a lot of grass. So that's a lot of materials all in total. Uh, it means I am kind of gonna make a little bit of a clearing here. I did say I have to live in the jungle. It's part of the rules of this challenge. But I didn't say that I couldn't clear out some of the trees and make some space. I'm gonna need some space, right? You need space to live. It's part of, it's part of life. Um, I'm not rambling, you're rambling. <laughs> oh no. All right, um, get some more bamboo here. We'll plant these, plant these right there. And yeah. Yeah, I think, I think this is gonna be a little building episode. We get some nice pleasant music. That is a lot of bamboo saplings. Let's stick those over there. I'm gonna need a little bit of space. Not a ton of space, but I do need a decent sized sort of uh, flat area. I think maybe right here will do. So because we're in the rainforest, it rains a lot, right? And we don't need our house getting flooded. We don't need that. I don't need that. You don't need that. Nobody needs that. So we're gonna put it up on stilts. Not high up, just a little bit raised off the ground. Uh, and in fact, we can even just kind of get started. Let's put one there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Man, the grass makes this real tough. There? Ugh. It also does that sometimes if there's grass in the way. Which I don't, I don't appreciate. No, I don't. Uh, let's start making these. I'm gonna need so many of these, though. I I'm gonna have to kill a lot of bamboo trees, but I'm also gonna have to kill a lot of kapok because... I am gonna need a lot of these logs. So I did actually, I, I am not one usually to like go into creative mode and come up with a design, but I actually did this time. I was feeling inspired, spent a little bit of time. It, oh my goodness, it's gonna take a lot of trees. Good thing we live in a jungle. Um, yeah, I, I had a little time, I was feeling inspired, I jumped into a creative world and I made a little design. It's not gonna be large, it's gonna be very small to start with. I might eventually expand it, make it bigger, but for our our uh, purposes just here at the start, I think it'll be fine. I really, I always avoid the sides with the vines on them because then you always get vines in your inventory. Sometimes there's, sometimes there's no getting away from it though. Just have to accept it. Goodness. I just kind of stick them on the sides of I can find there we go uh, Yeah Kind of lost lost track of my train of thought there. I should probably take some of these sticks and go shove them in the fire now, huh? And I'm getting a bunch. Let's go do that Sticks in the fire if it's still burning and if it's not I can just add some more firewood because that's how fires work I'll Light right back up. I'm just gonna put all of these in here. Now, torches, you know, they're a very limited source of light, especially uh, in, in the jungle where the rain will put them out, so we have to protect them from the rain, just like we, we've already done with our campfire and stuff. Um, ooh, oh, pretty good. Oh, pretty decent sized tree. There we go. I'll probably take what I have. We also don't, we, we don't want to fill up our inventory and not be able to pick stuff up either, right? So we'll go, and here it is. Oh, uh, speak, speaking of rain, we've got some rain. Rain is coming down. That's okay. 
We knew what we were we knew what we were signing up for when we decided to build in the rainforest. All right, gonna need. I am gonna need a couple of sticks. Excuse me, a couple of those sticks back, please. Thank you. Thank you, campfire, for allowing me to take my sticks out of you. I actually only need one ladder. I'm just gonna stick that there. That's a good start there. Um, now for the floor, I actually want. Oh my gosh, so rainy, so dreary all of a sudden. Sheesh. This is gonna be uh, the tedious part of this. Is gonna be the grass. Because without a scythe, you gotta harvest one grass at a time, and it really does take a while. You might, it might, I might have to wander far and wide for enough grass. Because both the floor and the roof are gonna be made out of grass, just because I like the texture. So, um, and you need six pieces of grass for one glass grass block. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take some doing, honestly. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of doing. We'll manage. We'll manage somehow. Oh, I keep picking up these, and I don't think. Oops. No. I'll do it this way. I don't think there's anything I can do with these. No. They're just ferns. I would rather not be able to pick them up if there's nothing I can do with them. I know you can move them around for decoration and stuff. But when I'm just trying to get lots of grass, sometimes it gets a little annoying. Sometimes it just does. I'll survive. Don't worry. I checked. I will survive. Let's see how many blocks we got here. That many plus this many. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. We're going to need a lot more than that. It's a start. That's all we can ask for right now is a start. And oh man, look at this rain. We do need. We do need to get this house completed. Oh, there's more grass on the ground here. There's one weird kind of thing about this game is uh, when a, an item appears on the ground, you can't pick it up right away. There's a little bit of lag. I'm saying lag. I Actually, I think it's probably an intentional delay. I don't really understand why. Or maybe it's not intentional. Maybe it's just uh, an unintentional side effect of the way the game engine runs. I'm not a programmer, and I didn't write this game. Um, so I don't... Dang it. I don't really know. But whatever the cause, I really wish that you could pick stuff up instantly. Like in Minecraft, which is the game that this one gets compared to most often, obviously, because visually it's very similar. Um, you can pick up an item instantly. There is not this little, little waiting period. And there's a lot of things that I much prefer in this game over Minecraft. Like, almost everything, really. There's a reason I don't really play Minecraft much anymore. Uh, but there are a few things that I do prefer in Minecraft, and that's one of them. Just being able to pick up your items. Just being able to pick up your items right away. Instead of, you know, you think you got them all, and then you turn back and you look back, and you realize it's all sitting on the ground. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean. Alright. There's one of the things I like better about this game. You couldn't have made that jump in Minecraft too far. Not in Vintage Story. Hey, we got a floor! Folks, it's a floor. Now, I'm gonna go up four on each of these. I am actually, I am gonna take a little bit of damage some of these. Oof. A little grunt. Um, get hungry already. I should probably just like let myself get fully hungry. Before I worry too much. Um, this is where the bamboo is gonna start to come in. I really am gonna need a ton of the bamboo, though. Um, how did I have it? I think I had it like this? Yes. I think so. This looks right. We're gonna have, um... Little windows in the sides, which is going to be perfectly safe because they're up off the ground. Nothing's going to be able to come inside. Uh, we're going to do the kind of pattern like this. And I'm going to need a lot more logs for the top. I have some more logs. Um, wait. Like that. You guys will see. You'll all, you'll all see. <laughs> I got it planned out. Uh, so this is going to have kind of like a, a peaked roof. 
because we're in a rainy place and it makes sense that the roof would need to be um, really steep so that the rain comes off of it and doesn't leak through and drip through. Oh, I'm so glad the sun is up though. Let us start gathering tremendous amounts of bamboo. I am going to need more K-pop as well, but right now let's focus on the bamboo. Oh, it's nice and, and light out. Easier to see what we're doing. I am gonna, I do feel like I'm gonna need to replant a lot of this stuff. Partly because, you know, you should always replant some of the resources, but also because uh, I'm trying to make this a, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I'm trying to make this a challenge where I'm supposed to be living in the woods, right? So. Okay, I need some flint. I don't have flint on me. I do not. No, I do not. I was right. I wish I'd been wrong. Is this still going? <gasps> hey, guys. Guys, I think the charcoal's ready. Guys, I think the charcoal's ready. I'm always afraid to do this just in case I'm somehow wrong. And then you ruin it all. No, nope, it's done. It's That is done charcoal. That is... Oh, really? Not even a full... Okay. Uh, let's pick up some of this charcoal. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't pick up too much of it. I on I'm only gonna need... Probably only one piece of charcoal, if I'm honest. To get this first bit done. Let's take some of these beautiful torches. I'm gonna light this. This is exciting times right here. That is exciting times. Okay. Um, flint. No, you're firewood. I don't have any flint? Really? Do I really not have any flint? Alright, I can use a different... I can use andesite, right? I can. I'm sure we've already had this conversation. I don't remember, it was a little while ago. Let's get my axe. I'm gonna go get some more bamboo. Maybe I'll put down what I have already. Uh, I don't have a single stick. Not one single stick. This is embarrassing. There we go. So embarrassing. All right, there we are. Uh, let's... Oh man, it's gonna take it's gonna take a lot it's gonna take a lot of bamboo. Look how few pieces I get from that. That is truly bananas. Uh, there we go. And yeah, I'm also gonna need it uh that. Yeah, let's go up like this. I should I should I should be doing like the sides and stuff first, but um go. I'll get one side kind of done. Just to help you all visualize. These are gonna come out on the sides as well in the corners. Um, alright. There we go. Get up, but up, but up, but up, ba. I don't know how, I don't know how interesting this is for you all to watch. I'm focused. Cool. Uh, so each side is gonna be more or less like this. It's gonna go up like this, and then it's gonna go up to a peak in the middle from the four sides. So that's the plan. Go take a peek at this, see how it's doing. Uh, yeah, that's done. That is done. Oh, this is... This is properly exciting right here. And I should be... For real. I should be... Um... Uh, going out, planning, you know, making an anvil mold and going out and getting more copper and stuff as soon as that's ready, but I really want a roof over my head. And I think I can last long enough to get a roof over my head. With the food that I have. So, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Maybe I won't bother with the walls just yet. No, but you gotta have walls. Well, you don't have to. It might be possible to just get a frame. In which case, I really should just focus on that, right? And I should be focusing on the grass to make the roof. I'm gonna need a lot of grass to the roof. I think I may have mentioned. Oh, look at all that. That's good. This is good. I like this. Positive feelings coming this way. Okay. Put the bamboo saplings down. No K-pox saplings. I'm gonna have to make sure I make some shears before too long. Again, not because there's any shortage of resources, but because I did say I was going to live in the jungle. And if I'm just cutting down all the trees, it's not jungle anymore. That's just an open field. 
And that's not the challenge that I set for myself. Oh, man. Yeah, picking up the grass in particular seems to take a while. But making, a, making a, a grass roof before you have a scythe is something I don't recommend doing. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping on. I'm taking the bullet. I'm showing you, by example, what not to do. Because you're going to see me suffer. And then you're all going to be like, oh yeah, no, I don't want to go through that. Thank you very much, Ira, for doing that so that I could learn a lesson vicariously through you, rather than having to learn it the hard way myself. You're a hero, and you should probably be given a medal or something. I mean, that people might say that. That's up to all of you. That's not up to me. Obviously. Okay, let's get these hay, hay thingies. Hay thingies! That's what they're called. I can, I can just make up whatever language I want. Who's gonna, who is gonna stop me? That's the real question. All right. Um, roof. Roof is of, of, of utmost priority. So, maybe what I can do is... Um, just throw this down. I am not filling in... Actually, that's gonna need to go there anyway. I'll just go ahead and leave that there. Yeah, actually, I can I can just do it all like this. With the, the hay, instead of having to put down the bamboo. Okay, so... Now I need to do these. Already almost out of grass. This is ridiculous. Man. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> out of grass. Okay, but these are gonna go up, 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 up to a point in the center. And then I'm gonna need enough grass to cover the whole thing. I'll do this. These are easy to break as well. It's easier with the with the, the hay. Hay is quicker to break. All right. So that I don't cause myself undue injury, let's come down right here. Okay, I gotta be careful because if I accidentally hit the floor, it's just gonna <laughs> fall out from underneath me because it's just grass. It's just grass. Look at my floor. It's just grass. All right, we got some nice happy music though. And if the music is happy, we're happy, right? appreciate this music. This music is by Lo-Fi, who's done all music for a vintage story, and uh, who is very talented indeed, and has made good music. I think everyone can agree about that. It's all good music. Here we go. Man, this is gonna take a thousand years. <laughs> hey guys, remember when I said don't do this? Are you starting to understand why? I'm actually giving myself my- oh goodness, I hope I'm not giving you folks motion sickness. If this gives you motion sickness, please for goodness sake leave a comment and let me know. And I can do this off camera, right? I got some nice comments uh, a couple videos ago saying uh, that people don't mind if I just do this as sort of like a pre-recorded stream almost, where I just kind of play and chat uh, and I don't cut out the grindy bits. But if, if any part of this is unpleasant or difficult to watch, please do not hesitate to let me know, and I will start editing out these bits, okay? I'm not trying to cause anybody undue psychological or physical harm. By any stretch of the imagination. If it's giving me a headache, I can't imagine that it's very pleasant for you folks either. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just sensitive. Maybe it's not so bad for all of you. You're gonna have to tell me. That's why I can keep saying. It's up to you guys. It's up to you, my friends, to let me know. Let's see how much we got here. Not nearly as much as it feels like it should be. That's how much. Oh, I'm one- hold on a second. I need one more piece to make- there we go. <laughs> Can't have that. That was just too much. This is only 22 pieces. I may have to do some of this off camera, my friends. 
I don't think I can subject you all to this. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm remembering. I'm, I'm trying to picture in my head the uh, creative mode example one that I did. I didn't actually leave the grass there. I don't think. No. Um, I did have grass here. All right. Let me let me do these sort of. holes in the middle. So I know, I do remember for sure how I did those. I decided to not have them covered because it didn't look, it didn't look good in the blocky sort of, sort of, uh, style here. Okay, now we're getting, now we're getting somewhere. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Tell me I have more wood. I don't have any more wood. Disaster. Cannot believe this is happening to me. Me, Ira. This can't happen to me. I'm too important. Ow. My own house is attacking me. All right. Uh, let's cut down on the K-pop tree. Another few. We're getting there, though. This is actually coming together faster than I expected. It is going to take a while, I think, to get all the bamboo for the walls. And it is probably going to take a while to get enough grass for the ceiling, to be fair. Um, but at least we'll have mostly a roof over our heads. And as you probably already noticed, it is quite a small little hut. But this is just going to be... Ooh, three K-box saplings. Look at this. Oh, Splendid. This should be enough. I think this is probably enough to finish the whole build, actually, in, in terms of the K-pop parts. Hup, 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 hup. Up we go. Um. Do this. I think I had also. Oops, I didn't actually mean to do that. I think I had, really. Can I not? <laughs> I can't. There we go. Yeah, I think it looked better like that. Okay. We're, we're really getting somewhere now, my friends. Bro, I don't actually have that much time left. This is insane. It's insane how time passes when you are playing this stinking game. I am telling you. Um... Yes. I do believe... This is- yeah, this is how I had it. Okay. In there. Yeah, we're gonna get- we're gonna get the full roof. Probably not gonna get the- the kind of edges. No! <laughs> well. Ow! Okay. Oh, no! Oh, so many disasters at once! Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That one goes there. Alright. And then... I'm gonna have to get, get injured again. One goes there. And we can start kind of bringing, bringing them down. Can I? Oh, there we go. I jumped into a tree. Did you see that? Those are pretty good skills right there. Awesome. Okay. We have... Oh, no. <laughs> this is a problem with grass blocks, folks. It is a constant problem. They are so easy to break. They're not sturdy. It's not sturdy. It's not a sturdy building material, folks. Okay. However. Another one right there. Uh, we're... Look at that. I do have another one. Two walls done. Two walls done. Um, this isn't too bad. 
this is not too bad. So this is gonna be my residence. I got a wall up here and then I'll have one here with a little doorway, which can be blocked off in case of monsters uh, if I don't get a saw quickly enough to make a door. There will eventually be a door there, but if we come out here. Oh, I am gonna need to put these. I can do this now, I have got enough. Probably just enough. So this is, this is my little design. What do you folks think? I'm not the most amazing builder of all time, and I know that. I'm working on it, I'm slowly getting better, but I think this isn't too bad of a little design. I think it's a nice little house, and I think I'm gonna enjoy living in here. So this is where I'm gonna keep my storage and stuff like that. Um, I will have to make a separate little, little hut, maybe over here, without the, I don't wanna use the straw floor, um, because, for the fires. Because even though I don't think in the game they will catch fire, they might. <laughs> Um, and even if they didn't, it's just not realistic to have, like, a straw floor. I just really like that texture for the floor. I had bamboo for the floor at first, but it looked kind of crummy with the walls being bamboo as well, but just aesthetically, I feel like this is a really nice floor texture here. So, uh, I'll make a second little hut for cooking and blacksmithing and stuff, and maybe I'll even have, like, a little bridge over to it, and it'll also be up on stilts. Maybe with a stone floor or something, eventually, or with a, a cob floor. Oh, and a little, another little frame drop there. Um, yeah, I think, I think I gotta call it, actually. I cannot believe how quickly time is going by. I don't want this episode to get too, too long again like the last one did. Um, and also my voice is dying. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. So, we got a hut, we got charcoal, we got copper tools. Next episode is gonna be all about copper, I think. And, uh making an anvil, and then getting enough copper and making our first set of proper copper tools, including a saw and a scythe, uh, for future hay bale making projects. Uh, mainly the saw is what I need at this point. And then we unlock chests and doors and fences and all kinds of cool stuff. So we're heading in the right direction. I am gonna eat, no, I'm not gonna eat the whole pot. That would be a little excessive. I'm not a glutton, I just have this much, cool. Um, yeah, thanks for joining me, my friends! Thank you so much! I'm really, really, really having a blast with this series. I'm having a blast with this version of the game. And I'm so glad that you're here to enjoy it with me. So, uh, I'm gonna get under my roof here, stay nice and dry, and watch the rain. Till next time. Well, my country's on lockdown. I'm not allowed to leave the house except for urgent things. Uh, government offices are closing, and appointments, really, really important appointments to do with my visa, have been canceled on me, and I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, I am just a few months shy of being able to apply for permanent residence in this country. Uh, <laughs> it's not great. Things are not great. Um, Wash your hands with soap, 20 seconds. Like seriously, you get sick of hearing it, but it genuinely is the best thing you can do. And just stay home, stay away from people. Even if you think you're not at risk, um, you, you, you gotta be a guardian for people who are at risk. Who, um, you know, you gotta be a buffer. Keep your hands clean, don't touch stuff, don't touch your face. Cancel all your social engagements. Uh, don't go to restaurants, don't go to bars. Be responsible. Be safe for yourself and for the people around you. Wash your hands. Soap kills this virus. Soap kills the virus on your skin. Um, wash your hands with soap. Real good. Don't, don't panic buy stuff. Don't buy out all the medical supplies that vulnerable people in like hospitals and stuff actually need right now. Uh, and if you think it's not a big deal, just look at the news coming from like Italy right now where there's literally no more space in the hospitals and everything's overwhelmed. You need to I need everyone to be real good about this right now, folks. It's not fun. It's not, it's not, I'm sorry, I don't have my usual jaunty, goofy little end to a video. Things are, things are in rough shape right now. Wash your hands.